Hey guys, it's Amoon92. Welcome back. Let's continue this let's play, shall we? In the last episode, um, we found out from Duking that some strange things are going down at Mount Battle, and there's evil people, like the Cyphers. But we're not going to go to Mount Battle right yet. This episode is dedicated to probably the final couple of things we need to do in a gate village. Now, over if you go over this way, you'll find like a secret little cave right here. And keep going, keep going, and you'll find yourself two items. A silk scarf, and a Ultra Ball, two of them. Oh, that's good. And off screen, after the last part we shot, um, we got a couple more Pokeballs. We got like 17 Ultra Balls, well, we got 15 Ultra Balls, and with the two we just got, 17. And we also got 10 Timer Balls, just, you know tweak things up in a battle, like if a battle takes forever, then you have a timer ball. Could change pace, so that way it's not always great balls and ultra balls you're catching these Pokemon with, and Pokeballs. Change it up every now and then, you know? Uh, here's an old guy. There, there's a couple trainers actually in a gay village that you can battle, but I probably won't show those. Like, I know this guy you can battle. Um, leave this guy you can battle, maybe. Well, just talk to all the people and eventually you'll see who you can battle. Now, if you go down behind Egan's house, down this way, eventually you'll find the path. Just, just keep going down. Uh, you're going to find another item right here by the waterfall, and it's a experience share. Now, the experience share would be good for a Pokemon like Plusel, so that way you don't have to send it out during battle. You can just keep in your storage, and yeah doesn't even have to participate, collects all the experience points from the battle, and it grows up in level. But, again, I'm unsure if I'm going to use Plusle to on my team. I don't think I am. Sorry, Duking. But, I will try to train him. Maybe eventually I will see if I like it better than Flaffy when I use it on my team. Um, this is an old man. I think he can battle. or He, he, gets ba he gives you berries every day. So, apparently, there's time in this. So, he'll give you berries every day, so that's pretty good. If you go down this way, uh, you gotta cross this path. Down that. I don't know what this old lady does. I think she's like, oh, Pokemon are good, you should treat them kindly. And all that kind of stuff. Uh, same with this old lady and her low tad. Um, looks like that's about it. Uh, right here is the uh, daycare, so if you want to train your Pokemon while you're running about, you just talk to this old lady. She's like, hi, I'm the daycare lady. I'll take your Pokemon off your hand. And you can give her Plusle or one of the Shadow Pokemon that's really weak, which I can't think of one right now, but, you know. Or maybe your Espeon or something. You don't want to train Espeon. And you're like, I'm Brian a lot better. You give it to her. You walk around. It, it's basically if you've played a Pokemon game before that's uh, gold, uh, well... Red, blue, yellow, gold, silver, crystal, uh, ruby, sapphire, emerald, diamond, pearl, platinum, and heart gold, soul silver, fire, red, leaf, green. It, it runs the same way. Except this one, you can't breed Pokemon. I believe this is a trainer right here. Uh, eventually, there'll be Farmer John over here. He'll be like, oh, some, something, something, some, something, something, something. Now, let's see. Um... Oh, well, when we last came here, there was an Eon file, so we're going to get that. Now we're going to read up. Oh, look, there's a farmer guy right here. What does he say? Is that right? Those crooks have raided Mount Battle? I get it. They're going after Vander on Mount Battle. Vander? Who's Vander? I've heard rumors that Vander has the ability to summon Celebi. Really? Do tell. Well, first, let's uh, get the Eon file. It's Eon File C. Three guesses what this means. Celebi's power. Yep, obviously Celebi for C. The purification of Shadow Pokemon has several factors. Celebi appears to have the power to boost the purification process. If a Shadow Pokemon encounters a Celebi, it recalls how its heart was b before being closed and reverts to its original form. The Relic Stone of a Gate Village, that little stone right there, also appears to have the power to complete the purification process. 
These factors must be eliminated if our Shadow Pokemon plan is to succeed. Shadow Pokemon Lab, Chief Ian. So pretty much they're trying to destroy the Shadow Tablet. And as you can see in my Pokemon team, I pretty much have uh, six Pokemon in here ready to be purified. Makuhita, well, five, but... Makuhita, Quilava, Flaffy, Quagsire, and Mistrevious. And Quillfish, I kept in my team, my team because I figured while walking around and filming, eventually his heart will become purified so that his heart will be like, oh, undo the final lock. But it hasn't yet, so these four, Makuita, Quillava, Flaffy, and Quagsire, along with the Espeon and Umbreon, I'm thinking have on my team. Now, Flaffy may be replaced with Plusle. I don't think that's going to happen. But if it does happen, then Plusle will be on this team instead of Flaffy. Uh, well, I'll, I'll find out eventually. That might change within the parts. Definitely Makuhita. I need a fighter, fighting type to beat up uh, dark types and such. And I don't know what other things fighting types do. Rock. Even though water can do that, but we all, we'll have another thing. Um, Quilava be simple things. Fire, uh, a leaf, bugs. Flaffy electric types always good, and Quagsire is water and ground, so it can be immune to electric types. Um, Mistrevious, I don't really need a ghost Pokemon because I have a psychic type and a dark type. Psychic types can be, you know, fighting types and poisonous types. This, the ghost type all it does is beat psychic types, and it gets beaten by dark. Whereas a dark Pokemon can beat both ghost and a psychic type, so why do I need a ghost that can be a psychic type when I already have a dark type that can be a psychic? And it can already be a ghost type, so there you go. Even though it would be good for, like, oh, you know, physical attacks and stuff, like fighting a normal doesn't work, but I don't think I really need a ghost. And Quillfish, I already have Quagsire. So these four Pokemon right here are the ones I'm thinking about having on my team. So... And again, Knocked Out could be on here, but I'll pr probably purify him. So, you'll probably, in this episode, you'll probably see Makuhita being purified, Quilava, Flapping, Quagsire, and Mysterious. We might put Mysterious in, I don't know. Probably, more than likely, it's going to be these four. So, I'm going to show you the first sight of purifying a Pokemon. Now, when you come to a gate village and go to the Relic Stone, you must walk up to the Relic Stone. You can run. You can be like, see? And... Pretty much when you know a Pokemon's ready to be purified, it turns green and sparkles like that. And pretty much you'll hit the A button and it says there's a Pokemon that may open the door to its heart. And then whichever one of your uh, Shadow Pokemon is ready, if you have one or six like I do, you just choose one. Maquita was the first one I caught and the first one I really to be... Uh, have the message say undo the final lock and I'm going to do the first Pokemon I caught. So we're going to do Maquita. And get ready to watch the cutscene, guys. Makuhita opened the door to its heart. Now, when Pokemon get purified, they lose their attack Shadow Rush, so it no longer hits on recoil. Instead, they get a new attack. Makuhita's new attack is... Foresight. Not really a good move. But hey, it's a move. His other three moves are better. And he'll gain experience points. Hopefully he'll evolve. He did not evolve. I'm very disappointed by that, but we'll have to trade him so that way he turns into Hariyama. And usually they'll obtain a ribbon, which pretty much says, oh, they surpass trials and stuff. So if you trade it to your Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire, Red, Leaf, Green, and you want to get ribbons for your Pokemon, a uh, good way is trading your Pokemon from Coliseum to there, and that way building up so many ribbons that it just becomes the almighty person with ribbons. Would you like to give my kid? No, they'll ask you that, and it won't be like, it won't evolve. So, great. So, get ready to watch the other Pokemon in probably different clips, or what, however I plan to do it.
Kirby is evolving. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, guys, you get to witness Pokemon evolving in Pokemon Coliseum. It turned into an Ampharos. Alright guys, well, however you saw this episode, I don't know how I'm going to edit it yet. We have purified four Pokemon. The four Pokemon that are going to be, that are going to be in my team. And so, I will keep you guys updated throughout the LP, how many Pokemon I have purified. And right now, I will say it once again, see you guys in the next episode.